So moving on to Liberia, well, we were also excited when former footballer George Weir became president. We said, ah, this is a younger president. He's 52 now. So we said, ah, he should do well. However, there's mixed reactions right now on the streets of Liberia. Some people are saying that he's doing really well. Among other things, he has constructed some roads. Some of them he has started, but they are not done. He has renovated a secondary school. He's building 635 housing units for low-income earners, although 500 of that would be in his hometown <laughs> he sent 15 medical students abroad and he made all public schools free among other things some people also like him because he opened his own church where he preached the inaugural sermon this that believe continue to worship this is what we have to be we say to God Amen. However, some people in Liberia are saying that he's not doing well at all. Trouble started when he refused to declare his assets. You know, after about six months of people shouting, that was when he said that he declared his asset, but it's still not made public. Me, I'm thinking if you have nothing to hide, why not declare and make your asset public? Like, you are a public official. Second of all, three months into his presidency, one of his properties was demolished and it's now been replaced and transformed. Also, his personal resorts is being renovated and he has proceeded to building an estate comprising of 47 units for himself. Last week, pictures of the estate surfaced and Liberians were really amazed by how quickly his personal projects are moving forward compared to the people's projects. For example, he promised to build a military hospital and work has started on that hospital, but it's not moving as fast as that of his estate. Now, in the middle of all this, during the dedication of a market last week, he threatened anybody that dares to insult or criticize his government. <laughs> Those that constantly insulting the president, there will be no citizen in this country, and I can defy you. Now, ever insult the president and think you will walk in the street too. But any insult and any threat, that citizen will be buried under the law. I cannot believe this. And because people wanted to protest, he shut down social media and of course the internet in Liberia. All social media sites were later blocked in attempts to put an end to the spread of the protests. Netblocks said WhatsApp, Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, Google's Gmail service and the Associated Press were among the sites blocked. In any case, people went out to protest the state of the economy as well as the rising inflation, which is now 23%. Anger and frustration on the streets of Monrovia as thousands massed on Capitol Hill to denounce rising prices in the country. Protesters say life in Liberia has become increasingly difficult. Inflation is now at an all-time high in the country, reaching 23.3% in April. So I want to know what you guys think about what's happening in Liberia because I don't understand anymore. Even if he's doing well in other areas, is it morally right for a president not to declare his assets and then be working on personal projects? As in, it's not even 18 months since he was sworn in. And in the middle of that, for him to now say that anybody that criticizes him and his administration will be dealt with. And you know, if you're from Liberia, I really would like to hear from you about his performance so far. I know that some people love him, some people right now, they don't really care about him. I like to hear from both sides. Anyway, you guys don't know much. Guess what? I'm just keeping it real. <laughs>